Hey everybody, today we're going to do another Frequently Asked Questions and this one is regarding split ends. So, Eternity wrote to me and she said, can you give me a couple of ideas on how we can prevent split ends on our natural hair? Um, so thanks so much for your question, Eternity, and I actually have seven tips on how you can actually prevent split ends. Um, if you already have the split ends, the only pretty much solution is you're going to have to get them trimmed. But if you're trying to prevent split ends, it's seven different things you can do. So first thing you want to do is be gentle. Um, and that means wearing your satin bonnet, sleeping on a satin pillowcase. If you're, like, for instance, my hair is how it is right now i have a cotton t-shirt on but let's say i had a wool sweater on making sure your ends are protected it's not rubbing up against that harsh material um and like i said always pretty much sleeping with something silky or satin on your hair if you wear a lot of hats like i'm wearing right now make sure you put a scarf on the top protect your hair at all times basically Number two, you want to make sure you're getting a regular trim. That means every six to eight weeks. I know a lot of us think, oh, well, you know, I'm natural now. I don't have to, no. Hair is hair, regardless whether it's straight, curly, kinky, coily, whatever. You have to get it trimmed every six to eight weeks. Because if you don't, those splits, those knots that you see at the end, they're going to keep creeping, creeping further up. And the next thing you know, instead of getting a trim, you're going to need a whole haircut. And you're not going to like that. Um, so every six to eight weeks, um, I would say six to be care to be on the, um, you know, safe side. But if you straighten your hair a lot, if you get a lot of heat, um, put a lot of heat on your hair, if you color your hair, like how mine is a really high lift color, you want to make sure you get those trims, you know, on the six week side. If you pretty much kind of just natural doing your thing, you don't really use a whole lot of manipulation or heat or whatever in your hair, you probably can push it to eight weeks. But still get it. No once a year trims. Mm -mm. At least get every six to eight weeks. Um, so the third thing is you want to limit your color and your straightening. So as you can see my hair is really, really blonde. But I try to only color at least once a year. So my roots might be looking, you know, a little crazy. But it helps kind of prolong the health of your hair. Because getting, you know, because this is bleached. So getting your hair bleached every two or three months is really going to damage your hair. Versus if you're kind of spacing that, spacing it out. And same thing with getting your hair straightened. The high heat, high temperature, just space it out. So instead of getting your hair straightened every two weeks, try getting it straightened every six weeks if you're a more of like a naturally straight type of person. If you only get your hair straightened every now and again, try, you know, maybe you only get straightened for three months out the year or whatever. But just make sure you're going back and forth, giving your hair time to rebound and, you know, get itself together after each time. Next thing, you want to use a leave-in conditioner. So, I pretty much use leave-in every single time after I do my hair. And it's really, really important to lock in the moisture. And it also helps your ends. Just make sure when you're using it. Um, this is one of the ones I have. I'll do a whole separate video on, like, all my top five favorite leave-ins. But this is definitely one of them. And that's the basic mega moisture. So, just, I know a lot of times, especially when it has a spray, we kind of just... Ch -ch 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 -ch. But make sure you still kind of spray it on the ends too, um, you know, because they need the extra slip because the ends is the oldest part of your hair. So make sure it has lots of moisture and use a really good leave-in conditioner. Water-based, I want to say. Water-based leave-in conditioner. Um, Cantu is great. Everybody loves Cantu, but Cantu is not water-based. It's really heavy. Um, so you need a water-based leave-in conditioner because that's what's actually going to lock the moisture into your hair. Water, not shea butter contrary to popular belief um next you want to make sure you take like folic acid biotin um i don't know if i'm pronouncing this right but ni niacin niacin that's another good one that's for your hair another thing a lot of naturals do is they take um prenatal vitamins and essentially we're, all, we're taking a prenatal vitamin because it's basically it has biotin it has um niacin it has folic acid all in one pill versus taking like three to four separate ones so i have folic acid um i've used biotin in the past like when i first went natural i did that for like faithfully for like a year and a half every day took biotin and it does help i will say that and if you have um thinning nails it helps with your nails too so um definitely upping your vitamin take drinking more water is good for your hair and your skin too um another thing 
wide tooth comb. So a lot of times our ends look raggedy and nasty because we're pulling at them. You may be using a comb or a brush that's too harsh for your hair. So by using a wide tooth comb like this one, you're able to kind of rake through your hair a little bit more um, easily. So again, you want to be gentle when you do this. Um, always start at the ends first. Um, it helps to have a leave-in conditioner or deep conditioner or whatever in your hair when you're doing this. Never comb your hair dry, ever, ever, ever. So you always want to just kind of work your way up when you're using your wide tooth comb. And lastly, you want to make sure that you limit your heat use. So blow drying is cool, but again, you can watch some of my other videos to stretch your hair out without having to use a blow dryer. If you can skip that step, that saves your end, saves your hair a lot of time and frustration. You don't have to worry about your hair looking raggedy and a mess. So Eternity and everybody else, I hope that helped solve your problem with split ends. Again, you can't, if you already have split ends, the only thing you can do is cut them off. But if you're trying to prevent them, please use these seven tips. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have any other tips that you've been using to help your split ends. And I'll see you in the next one.